Hey there, Bob. I'm drinking coffee again. I don't know what's up with that. I thought I'd, I thought I'd given it up, but it grabbed me back again. Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. We've got Stanley here today. Stanley's going to help us a little demonstration. Uh, what's going on with you? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about that. And speaking of the comments, we got a comment I want to talk to you about. It's from Keith McGreeny. Let me get it up here. It's Keith McGreeny, like I said, and he says, I'm wondering about the validity of a slurry test in an ounce of soil sample from the surface. Is it really representative of what's going on six to 12 inches further down in the pot? Further, if the plant looks healthy, is a slurry test really necessary? Thank you and keep up the good work. Thanks, Keithy. McGreeny, Keith McGreeny. Um, so you've probably seen me doing slurry tests and I grab a little soil off the top here because I'm just futzing around with somebody else's plant from downstairs or something. And so I don't want to really dig in there and we're just doing it as a demonstration, but yeah, you're right. Uh, we we say a couple inches down, and now you're saying six to twelve inches down. A bigger pot here is that really representative? And yeah, I think if you were six to twelve inches down, you're going to have a more accurate representation of what's going on with the plant. But I think it may be somewhat deleterious to the roots to be digging in there that much, especially on a regular basis. And so that's why we say one to two inches to get to get in there, but not too far in there. And you're probably saying, well, is that accurate? And no, it's probably not as accurate. But I believe that it is an analog. And instead of being accurate, I think what we're looking for, and this is to be consistent, to have the same results time over time, to take it from the same spot, the same area, so that we know when we look at that over a timeline, that we're gonna have an accurate representation. And that accurate representation of what's going on here is probably just as good as here when we're looking at trends and that sort of thing, to look things are falling or things are rising, more so than just looking at an actual absolute number. But more importantly than that is that Everybody, all the nectar fam all over, have kind of a consistent thing they do. We use the 700 scale on our truncheon. We go a couple inches down. We do a one-to-one -one mixture. We don't let it sit for too long. And that may not be the accurate way to go in some, you know, maybe you've got a better way that works better for you. But when you're working with all of us, you need to be on the same page, same language. And that's the important thing, is that we all do it one way just so that we can all do it one way. And it may not be the best way, but it's our way. And so when you have a problem and you say, hey, Joe in Michigan, I'm Bob from Oregon, and uh, I'm having a problem with my plant. Joe can say, well, what's your slurry numbers? And he knows that if you do it with that method, that your slurry numbers on your plant are gonna be accurate to what he's done with his slurry numbers on his plant. And he can use his experience to help you to figure out what you got going on. And I think that's the, the really important fact that I wanted to hammer home, is that there may be better ways to do these or just different ways to do these, but we've all kind of settled among the Nectar fam on a way that we do do it, and it works well for us, and it's a nice thing to get with the program of doing that so we can all be speaking the same language. So that's, I guess that's it for today. Uh, what do you got going on in your world? Like I said, let me know. Ask me some questions down in the comments. We'll get some people on here. We'll do some fun stuff. We'll keep going with the show. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.